Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the uses and dangers of radioactivity. There are three different types of radiation, alpha, beta and gamma. All of them are very useful, but all of them have very different uses. When we're working out what type of radiation to use for which job, there are a few things we need to take into account. We need to take into account the half-life and the type of radiation. Gamma radiation can be used for cancer treatments. There are two different ways this can be done. When we have um, like a particle gun, we are firing the radiation at a tumour we can use that to kill the tumour, to kill all of the living cells in there. Now for this type of radiation, you're going to need something that has a very long half-life because it is external to the body, it's in a piece of machinery, we need it to last a very long time. If, for example, it is a medical tracer, It is something slightly different. So this is a drink that people will take um, and then we can monitor things like kidney function with it. We need it to be gamma radiation so that it will be outside of the body, but we need it to have very, very short half-life because you don't want the radiation to be hanging around in people's bodies for a long time. Beta radiation is really good in industrial purposes. So you can use it to measure the thickness of um, aluminium sheets or paper. Now because this is an industrial process, because it's external to the body, it's in a machine, we would like the half-life to be really, really long so that we don't have to keep replacing it all the time. And then alpha particles. Alpha particles are used in things like smoke detectors. And these, again, need to have a really, really long half-life. So you don't have to keep replacing your fire alarm, keep replacing your smoke detector every time the alpha source went out. We need it to last for a very, very long time. Now, alpha radiation, alpha particles, are not good for use in medicine because they're really, really ionizing. They will damage things far too much. So these will be good for external things, but not for internal things. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.